You can't. Atheists, they loosen in any debate. Now, atheists come with another excuse of why there are so many problems in the world. We are here in this world not to wine and dine. We are here to take a test. Do you want a perfect place to live? Obey Allah, please Allah, earn paradise, and you can have a perfect place, not 60, 70 years, not 90 years. We are promised in the paradise, a eternity, which is we're going to stay forever and ever and ever. That's the promise made by our Creator. If you disobey your Creator, also we will going to be punished. Does that not sound fair to you? <clears throat> now, let's get to the point. It's like you pass it, it's like think this is a classroom taking a test. You pass or you fail, simple as that. Let's get to the main point I want to do. If you would like to convert to Islam, which is Islam is the cure for all these problems I just mentioned. Islam is the only cure. That's the reason everybody in the Europe, in Russia, in China, in America, all over the world, people rushing into Islam. Even statistic proved every 24 hours, people convert into Islam. And I'm saying to atheists and the non-believers, you don't have, even have the power to stop it. Now, if you like to convert to Islam, if you want to save yourself, here's the opportunity to you guys. I will utter Kalima Shahada, which is the sentence you do. It's a declaration to enter Islam. I will say it in Arabic and then translate it straight after in English. And I want you to repeat after me. And believe me, the feeling you get, the beauty, the feeling is incredible. It's no much to nothing. Your heart will surrender to Allah. Your tear, tears will drop. And you're going to wonder why you crying. Just check it out. Just test it. Just see. Believe me, your life never be the same. Okay, let's start it. And I'll say it in Arabic now. And then uh, I want you to repeat after me, okay? I will say it nice and slow and, and clear. Ash Hadu and La Ilahe in Lal Lah Wa Ash Hadu and Muhammadan Abduhu Varasuluhu. I say, I repeat that in Arabic again just to make sure you guys got it right. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu and the meaning of the sentence i just said i bear witness there is no other God but Allah 
and I bear witness Muhammad is the messenger and the servant of God. Now, whoever utters this Kalima Shahada and declares this Kalima Shahada and, and enters to Islam, I like to congratulate that person from my deep bottom of my heart. That was the first step you made into Islam. Now, you need to improve your relationship with Islam, with Allah Ta'ala, with your Creator. You need to increase your relationship. By doing that, there's a daily prayer, five times a day. This, that's compul compulsory. We need to do this prayer every single day. Like the rest of the prophets did. Muhammad peace be upon him. Prayed. Jesus peace be upon him. Prayed. Moses, the rest, all the prophets prayed the same way to their creator. Okay? Now, don't you, don't you think it's weird? Prophets mentioned everywhere, so many prophets, and in, in between them, good few hundred centuries. None of those prophets knew each other. And don't you find that so weird? They all mentioned the same unique message. Worship one God alone. Don't you find that weird? And look at what happened to the nation in Nepal. They've been worshipping the stones all along. They were expecting protection, health, everything from, from the man-made stone. And look what God did to them. In the Quran says, If we don't obey, obey Allah, Allah will replace you with a better nation who loves Allah and Allah loves them. That's in the Quran. Look, look in, into it. And uh, I have feeling, guys. I have feeling Allah is replacing the people in Europe and America, replacing you as well. Now you can ask me why. So many gays, so many lesbians. Do you know, let's, let's say in Europe there's 10 million, maybe, yeah, let's say there's, I'm just giving an estimate fig, figure. I don't know how many gays and lesbians there is. Let's say there's 10 million gays and lesbians. Do you know what that means? There won't be 20 million babies is not going to born come to this world because of this lifestyle. One family minimum should have two, three babies, right? If you make the maths, if you have a 10 million gay and lesbians, that means 20 to 30 million babies is not going to be born because of this lifestyle, okay? Do you know what that means? Europe is already, as a nation, is an old nation. And they don't, because they don't produce enough, this nation, because they don't produce enough babies, so what, what will happen? The Muslims already in this country will increase their numbers instantly. So Allah, Allah said in the Quran, that's a miracle itself. All right, let's change the subject. Let's talk about our beloved uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
and there is no need to leave bad comment about our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, without knowing his life. First, learn about his life. If you have a doubt, there's no need to say bad words, words about this man because you don't know nothing about this man. He couldn't even hurt a fly. And a lot of people saying, oh, he was, he, he was uh, with an underage girl. Let me make this clear first. 1,400 years ago in the Arabian Peninsula, marrying a young girl that age was quite normal because back then, so many years ago, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 was a growing, growing person. Even though some atheists say the girl was so young, she was 9 years old. There's no proof. You can't prove that. Because back then, there's no such a record. People wasn't, were not celebrating birthdays every year, so count their, they, they were not counting their age. Like we do today, we celebrate every year birthday, so we know how old we're going to be. The girl nine, the girl nine year old, she couldn't be 15, 20. So please, there's no need to say words about, words about our prophet. There's no need for that. This man has done nothing to you instead of bringing you peace and love. Anyway guys, uh, I think that's it for now. And please, please utter Kalima Shahada. Save yourself. Please guys, it's so... In the Quran, it make, it's so, the message is so clear. God, Allah loves us all. That's the reason Allah allows us to breathe 24 hours a day. Allah creates vegetables, food, so we can feed ourselves. Believe me, we couldn't live in the moon, in the Jupiter, in the Mars, even a minute. Our Creator chose this planet for our own comfort. How difficult is that to understand? Use your common sense. You have one shot out of this before you hit the grave because the reality will go the reality going to start when we enter that grave think is think us this grave is like a doorway to another dimension and believe me our prophet says the punishment from the grave till the day of judgment and the major punishment will start on the day of judgment for, for non-believers. Take me as a friend and take my advice. I have no benefit. I have no benefit to making this video and warning you. I have no benefit from it. My benefit I'm expecting my reward on the day of judgment because I'm because so I can tell to my creator, Oh Allah, I warned so many people. This video woke woken up so many people, they start see the reality and they convert to Islam. That's my reward on the day of judgment I'm going to get from my creator. I'm not asking you any money or nothing. Believe me, guys. Take care of yourself um, and be safe. And uh, wish you all happy life. Alright? Take care. <laughs>